There are two basic types of fractions: proper and improper. A proper fraction is a fraction whose numerator is smaller than its denominator. Right. Just think about the pizza I had last night. I ate five slices of the original 16-slice pizza. Five out of 16 slices is the fraction five sixteenths. Five sixteenths is a proper fraction because its numerator five is less than its denominator sixteen. Comparing these two pizzas, I think you can see that five sixteenths is less than sixteen sixteenths, and sixteen sixteenths equals one. Therefore, five sixteenths is less than one. That was an example of using fractions to describe parts of a whole. How do we use fractions to describe members of a set or objects of a group? At least once a month, I go bowling with my dad. I'm not great at it, but I do get my fair share of spares. As you probably know, there are ten bowling pins. What you might not know is you can use the ten pins to represent the members of a set. If you knock down three pins, you have eliminated three members from the set, and this can be represented as three tenths. Using the same example, the remaining seven pins also represent members of the set. The fraction seven tenths can represent them. Get it? See, fractions don't have to be hard. Here are just a few more examples of proper fractions to make sure you can recognize a proper fraction: five ninths, seven tenths, six thirteenths, and fifteen twenty seconds. Please notice in each and every case. The numerator is less than the denominator. This also tells us that the value of each of these proper fractions is less than one.